can if we just push them uh, in the right direction. We uh, have a common ground, I'm going to switch a little bit here, that the educational system seems to be in trouble. There does seem to be a, a, value, I mean a, a point of view here that we need to change it for sure. Uh, we've been given some ideas like look at the, uh, the European system and consider on-the-job training and vocad and bring that back so we have variety. Um, we did think, too, that the family unit is critical to uh, developing and keeping firm. And by family unit, we mean the neighborhood, the extended family, as well as the family unit. And that maybe going, instead of always looking to government to solve a problem, go back to our nuclear and other extended families and try to make them stronger. Reminds me a little bit of our other options, too. I could go on, but I think I'm going to stop here. Do know this is not a comprehensive statement, and I may have left out some of your points of views. I know there's conflict about you know, Tea Party versus some other kinds of parties. There is a, a sense of, of uh, there's a, we need a change in our government from socialism to other types, and thank goodness we have voices coming out. That would be a conflict, but it's definitely, um, you know, that's where this whole thing goes, is we share all these different voices, points of view, and try to make sense of them. So with that, I am going to just take one minute to say, since I am the one whose responsibility is to review with great care all the information given today, which means the videotape, and I will have other people review it with me, all of these written notes, even my own that I scribbled, as well as these individual sheets, which I, could we hand out uh, right now, maybe? Okay, recap. Okay, good, good, good. Uh, just know, please, if you could stay another moment to give me another piece of your voice that will make all of our voices stronger. Caroline? Sorry about that. We just want to get some reflection here on your thoughts. So we're, we're just going to take a few minutes to do that. Have you share with us some more? Um, each of us is going to ask you uh, three questions. If we could just kind of uh, capsulate it here, individual reflections. How has your thinking about the issues changed since you we've started this evening? How has your thinking about other people's views changed? And how has your perspective changed as a result of what you have heard in this forum? Does anybody want to reflect on that? If or you can give us a verbal okay. reaction. Okay. Yeah. Somebody. So has, 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 your, has your attitude changed since, uh, since we've come together tonight? Say again. <laughs> has your attitude changed since you came here tonight? You're thinking. Uh -huh. yeah. Yes, sir. I was actually uh, surprised that... Um, Quite a few of you supported cutting uh, entitlement programs such as, not cutting, but reducing benefits for Social Security and pensions, et cetera, because you're, you, know, you guys are older generation. Usually they're against it. But I was actually pretty surprised because you know, older people are usually against it. I guess question, one of the questions is. <laughs> well, Jim, that's what it's about. <laughs> Well, well, I don't. I didn't hear nobody saying about cutting that. No. So I don't know. Uh, one thing that you did say earlier, Eric, that you think that Social Security is a Ponzi scheme, that that shocked me because I, you know, as as since I've been 18, I've been putting into Social Security, thinking that I would be getting back up, a, 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 you know, a little bit for Social Security as an income to whatever else I was investing. So that I can't see that that's a Ponzi scheme, putting in something that I think will be getting to me later on. Now, as a young person, you haven't put anything in yet, so you don't quite understand where I'm at. But everybody depends on Social Security, no matter what we have otherwise. Some depend on it more so, because some have not made wise investments or have done other things with their money, help their children go through college or whatever, so they don't always have that money available. So they live on the Social Security, which was not what it was intended for. You're right on that point. But, but we also, who have put into it all of these years, 40-some years, 
you know, we are hoping that it's there for us, and uh, we expected it. When I, when I said uh, Ponzi scheme, what I meant was the, the original ar the architecture of Social Security was you, you put in more money than you'll take out. Because if you, if you take out more money than you put in, which a lot of people are doing now because they're living longer, then the scheme falls apart. Uh, it's it's not I didn't mean it derogatory towards Social Security, but it's that's the general basis of it was you're supposed to put in more money than you take out to keep it going. But now because people are taking out more money than they put in, it's falling apart. That's just, that's why we need reforms. In. Okay, I think if Bill could just do the last group reflections. <laughs> He's going to do it. He's, Bill's going to do number two, and uh, but you answered a question. You know what the questions that were brought up. He had a different view and um, a different way of putting it. So this is good. That's what it's about. I really wanted to do three, Ron. That, uh, okay, two. Group reflections. Uh, we talked about a lot, and we really covered what we referred to as options as we got up before you. Is there anything that we didn't address in the way of uh, economic security that you'd like to have talked about tonight? Or can you think of any anything that as we convene another time we could address more clearly than we did tonight. Yes. Well, I came here tonight. I wasn't expecting this. This is fine. I enjoyed this very much and hearing everybody's opinion. Oh, good. <laughs> it's even better now. <laughs> but anyway, but uh, uh, it would have been good if we had some, some economic guru <laughs> who could, who could you know, give us a little bit of explanation of, of, you know, of our fears and our expectations of what's going on and, and maybe direct it that way a little bit. I mean, I really enjoyed hearing what Carol had to say, but um, she, I don't think she really can uh, give me a good economic reason as to why we're here today. You know what I mean? Yes, I think I follow that a bit. This is sort of a Chautauqua of... Uh, yes, yes. And, yes. And, and, and that's and not what I was expecting, but it, it was fine. Okay. We enjoyed it. All right. Uh, anyone else? Uh, let's go over here to Catherine. The hurricane, Katrine. Um, yes, I didn't expect, uh, uh, looking through this, I was thinking, gosh, this is a very sort of a positive direction. And I happened to be one of those people that listened to different economists. And this $600 billion is only the beginning. And every month, the Fed is going to buy more treasury bonds. And every month, we are going to realize more inflation. And this is only putting off what the bad days are going to happen. And you said you wanted it to be three months, and you didn't know if it would be two years. It's going to be decades. And it is going to be bad, and we're only putting it off. So the bad days are coming. And, and there was mention here among us that some of us want to get together more on this survival plans kind of, of uh, interesting and important uh, exchange and sharing and, and discussion. That, that, that's very well taken in that uh, one of the outcomes tonight was what we can do within our communities and neighborhoods on a survival net could very well be a future forum or discussion we could have here. Okay. D D Dave's been waiting. Up, we'll do two I'll, quickly I'll here, Dave. Quick. Okay. I'll sum up real quick because I'm, I'm, uh, I'm struck uh, by the unanimity among everyone in your uh, concern for where we are, but also for your lack of, uh, and, not, and this isn't a crit criticism, your lack of answers. And um, and it is a reflection, I think, of what's going on across the country. Um, Al and I just made a joke about there being no economic guru to tell us how to get out of this. We're in this together, and um, and we're either going up or we're going down together. But 
on a positive note, I'll say, I said it before, I'll say it again. I think this is the greatest country in the world. It's better than the second best anywhere. And I know that we can get ourselves out of this. I think that you can you can look over the last over the, over the at least the last 75 years and see the quality of life that all of us have experienced and all of us have taken advantage of. There have been some compromises along the way that some people have not been willing to accept. Um, the, consti the constitution the constitution being part of it but but i think our life our life is better our life is better than half a dozen other than half a dozen other countries in this world i'm glad to be here i don't want to live anywhere else thanks dave the reason i have to interrupt is because deanna has given up her time and she's, she is uh, committed to leave at 8.30, and we have extended her time. So, And we have some housekeeping things we have to take care of uh, before that. So um, all we want to do right now is just sum up real quick. And I'm sorry we couldn't get to everybody. I know that the discussions keep going. But what we want to do is talk about what's next and what, can we, uh, what we've learned from the forum and from ourselves and do we want to get together again and I've heard some positive things here which is greatly appreciated but real quickly just to sum up to let you know why we're here and what the purpose of this format is is that one of our partners or two of our partners is the National Issue Forum Institute and they are the ones that put the material together. And they do that because they frame the question with these statements within the handout that you had. So we can all kind of look at it in one way and then talk about it in whatever way that we see it. So these forums offer citizens the opportunity to join together to deliberate, to make choices with others about ways to approach difficult issues, and to work toward creating reasonable and reasoned public judgment. The forums also provide a way for people of diverse views and experience to seek a shared understanding of the problem and to search for common ground for action. So that's somewhat of a quick summary of why we talk uh, in a circle and the way we conduct the forum. Now another partner is the Kettering Foundation, and they're the ones that are going to take this information forward that D uh, Diane, Dr. Diane was talking about. They're seeking innovative ways to, uh, to communicate the results of forums to policymakers. So the public thinking that emerges from these forums can provide valuable insights to policymakers about the kinds of things the public is ready to act on and where the public might want need, uh, and need further thinking. So we also recognize that the results of forums might be more useful to state policymakers if they are analyzed regionally and also on a national level. So there, uh, the Kettering Foundation, which is a national research institute, it's been around since Mr. Kettering passed away and left his fortune to the uh, research of public deliberation, which was in the 40s, and since then, they have worked with the National Issue Forum to frame these issues in a way we can get together and then take it forward for us so that in our small communities and our small discussions, we can have some action that might come out of it. So they will be convening regional events. They're looking to have virtual online video casts as well as a central event, and possibly in New Mexico at the Institute of Public Law at University of New Mexico. So the information we have here is going to go forward there. And then the Kettering Foundation is going to convene a national event on May 10th at the National Press Club, and we will have two of our steering committee members present at that event. Again, May 10th. With your participation this evening, you will be uh, notified of 